Command number 10, you shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or servant, female ox dog. Let's make this practical. Nakikita mo ba yung nangyayari sa kapitbahay mo? Do you look around them and say, bakit, bakit mas green ang grass nila? <laughs> bakit mas malaki ang coach? Lord, sinusunda naman kita. Bakit yung mga anak nila ganyan? But we compare, we, we, we desire these things and we're like, Lord, why? Why, 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 why? David, before he fell into the other commandments of adultery and murder, what was his sin? Covet. Whoa, look at that girl taking a bath. So, there's something about covetousness. We need to be very careful. The Bible uses the word covet, and in Hebrew, since this is Old Testament, it is the word to pant after. <laughs> Panting after, like, I want that. That's nice, I want that. God is saying, be careful. Satan is trying to lure you in and get you. Greed brings grief to the whole family. It's so dangerous. Do not grow weary to gain wealth. So this is all the dangers of coveting and greed. Instead, but flee. Flee in the Bible is to shun or avoid by flight. And I wanted to emphasize that because many times in our life, if we want to develop deep contentment and avoid covetousness and greed, we need to flee. Delete the apps that tempt you. Stay away from the friends that are putting you or pressuring you to live a lifestyle that you don't really need to have. Flee. And instead, as you leave all that, I'm not going to go into these traps. I'm going to flee. I'm going to redirect. And I'm going to pursue this. Righteousness, godliness, faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. As for me, my contentment is not in wealth, but in seeing you. We need to redirect our desires from these things to Jesus. Lord, you are all I really need. I want to be with you. I want to spend time with you. I love you. You are my delight. 